So a few weeks ago I did this. And that's left me with um, water damage speed controller. Um, which means my clock buster is completely out of action. I had a good tip from Andy at clodtalk.com uh, who suggested I put it in a, a bowl of rice, which I've done for a few days. The idea to draw the moisture out of it and hopefully um, rescue it, but it hasn't worked. So we've got a new speed controller on order, and in the meantime, I'm going to make some acrylic boxes to um, that are watertight to protect my receiver and ESC and other electronics. Um, the next time I drive through a big puddle of water, because let's face it, driving through a big puddle of water is um, a lot of fun. Part of the part of the construction of the um, watertight box for the receiver, I need some little receiver extension cords. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate today: how to make your own receiver extension cords. You need a few tools, some wire strippers make life a lot easier. Um, and same with the crimping tool, makes life a little much easier. Anyway, let's go. So what I'm doing here is using the wire strippers just to strip off a little bit of the insulation off the end of each three wires. Usually just twist them a little bit to stop them fraying out when I put them into the plugs. So grab your crimping tool and your first of the um, what's going to be the plug and you just click it in. You don't want to crush it all the way because you want to still leave, um, leave it open enough to slip in your first wire. Once you've got your wire in place just Pick it off and get it out of there and you'll see that it's all done. Much neater than trying to uh, squash the little um, little wings over the wire with the pliers. You end up just crushing the whole thing. So now you've got all of your wires or your, all of your connectors uh, crimped into place. Uh, just retwist the wires um, and get it all neat and all in the same orientation. Double check that you're putting the plug on in the right orientation as well. I'll do a nice close up photo at the end to show you um, in which order the colours go in. And you just work them into their little slots like that. Um, and then you'll see I end up using the needle nose pliers just to help push them all the way in. You just got to be reasonably gentle here because you don't want to damage the insulation on the wires. And there you have it, one servo extension lead.